Ladies and gentlemen, that is a championship fight. Your pinnacle combat professional lightweight champion. I think that I got into fighting more or less just to do something. Never had a uh, goal, I guess. I had one buddy that I always had hung out with and I would take him to go train all the time and pick him up. And finally he's like, why don't you just come in, you know, like you're, you're always in shape, you're ready to go, like, why don't you come in and train? I am Jared Downing, and anybody will tell you in the fight game, 80% of the fight is in your mind. When I was about uh, 15 or 16, uh, I was getting into a whole lot of trouble. My mom got all tired of it, you know, and she kind of had enough, you know. I was pretty much a punk kid, and she told me it's time to go. And so being on my own, it made me have to man up. I hope that doesn't happen here to me. Oh, wisely fell down. He's on his back early here. The first time I got into the cage, I seen everybody around. It, that wasn't really what made me excited or affected me at all. It was the uh, people that I had trained with, you know, that they were there ready. Like, they put their time into me, you know? And these are the first guys I ever wore around that were, like, doing something with their life. And uh, I was just super excited to prove to them I'm ready to fight. Yeah, I think controversial decision might even be an understatement as more of a robbery. On fight day, I had looked at pictures of my twins, my newborns and a whole lot of a doubt just went through my head. I went from a family of two, which was me and my dog, to a family of five. I just remember thinking, I'm gonna fail my kids. The moment that you start to doubt yourself, you're gonna be battling uphill, and that fight went bad. Fight after that, I just doubted myself. So I went from nine and one with the world title to nine and six. Ah! Your pinnacle combat professional lightweight champion, Eric Wisely. When I lost to uh, Eric Wisely is when I knew it's time I'm gonna probably just have to be done. There was a huge part of me that felt I wasn't good enough. I think everybody has that doubt, but it's the people who can control it that will ultimately succeed. And it took me years to honestly know that. It was so uncomfortable in those fights when I was losing, and I wasn't physically losing, I was mentally losing. So now all my workouts, I focus on just being uncomfortable. I want it to suck. I want to be afraid to work out. There's points in, the, in there where I'm like, I don't need to do this, I don't have to do this. And I think about it, what would I do in a fight? It sucks to push forward, but I'm gonna do it. Because I know I need to sharpen my mind. And once I knew that it was all in my mind, that's when I knew I was ready to come back and put my mind to the test. Once a uh, fight day happened, 
I was ready to go into the cage for the first time again. And I was, I was excited to go out there and prove to myself. There was a moment in the fight early on where he threw a kick and it almost hit me right in my head. And I thought, is this gonna happen again? Am I going to doubt myself again? I put my mind through way worse situations than this. Everything that I put into this fight, the countless training, the workouts. Now that sucked. And after that mind shift happened, I got back on it and I was able to take him down. Last fight, there was no moment where I questioned myself. strong, it's over. And that's what I did.